Hey everybody, uh, it's another uh, hot, uh, sticky Midwest summer day, so trying to trying to find something again, light and refreshing. Uh, I'm going to do one I've never had before, although uh, this is bottled on 316, so it's uh, it's got some age on it, but it's another Evil Twin beer, um, they're Falco, IPA. I guess we got to take them as, as we can get them here. A uh, little bit from the website, it says, What makes a great leader? First of all, a perfectly, perfectly balanced blend of qualities. The ability to stand out, be authoritative without, over, without overpowering. Show courage and endurance. You will lead the way and set standards. Very important, be appealing and refreshing to the people. This stereotypical portrait applies whether referring to politics, religion, or maybe even this outstanding IPA. It says style, uh, American IPA, uh, brewed at Two Roads Brewing Company, and it's 7% ABV. I'm going to use my uh, IPA glass. Those things are so darn fragile. I pack a bit. I pack it in the cooler with uh, with some cloth around it. A little bit of a hiss. A um, little bit of foam bubbling up in the neck, but no real smoke to speak of. So. Yeah, these Spiegel out glasses are really nice. I do have one of the dogfish head versions, but I got two of these for the good grief. Don't think there's much I can do about that, but we got a uh, medium yellow, light to medium yellow color, ton of carbonation streaming up. Um, looks like there might be some, uh, not, might be some chunkies in there. It's hard to tell because there's a a bunch of carbonation, it's a bunch of stuff moving around in there. Got a good three fingers of a nice, uh, nice white head, uh, mostly small bubbles. Looks like it's probably going to stick around a bit, but a uh, ton of carbonation on this. So you can tell this is a well carbonated IPA. I don't know if this bottle condition or not. Uh, when I get room for the rest of it, I'll swirl it up and see. So let's get a nose on it. Okay, I'm still getting some nice, uh, nice uh, moderate aroma of some hit citrus hops, um, grapefruit orange and lemon primarily. There's some light, uh, light pale and like biscuity malts in there. Um, maybe just a, a hint of some pine, uh, pine needles, but. Uh, Primarily, it's it's a citrus, a grapefruit, orange, and lemon. But um, surprisingly, for being uh, five months old, um, still got some pretty good, uh, pretty good hop notes on it. So let's get a taste. Okay, there's a nice blend there. Um, you're really getting again those light. Um, Pale and biscuity malts, and uh, just a hint of the sweetness from the malts, um, and then fairly, fairly moderate flavors of the grapefruit, the orange, and uh, lemon again. Uh, I don't know what the IBUs on this. It didn't say. It doesn't say on the bottle. Didn't say on the website. Uh, so um, I don't know what the IBUs are, but I think they're. Probably fairly, fairly moderate, maybe 60 or 70. Um, yeah, definitely not one of those 100 plus uh, IBU IPAs, but uh, really nice. Uh, almost on the lighter side of a medium bodied uh, beer, and uh, the carbonation is uh, has dropped considerably from when I first poured it. As you can see, that that head surprisingly enough for us. Thick and foamy as it was, it's still hanging around, but um, it's uh, dissipating fairly quickly. I don't know if you can see that carbonation in there or not, but there's a lot of it, still a lot of it coming up. But it doesn't um, doesn't tingle your tongue in or anything like that. Um, just some uh, hints of dryness in the finish. Um, Fairly, fairly clean finish though, but um, not too bad, but um, 
even after five months it's still a still a hot forward uh, hot forward IPA the malls take a background in it to this for sure so um, let me uh, swirl the rest of this up and add the rest and uh, sit and sip on a while and I'll come back in a while with the final thoughts and grade okay I'm back it hadn't been, been all that long I swirled up the rest and poured it in uh, I think maybe that, those uh, what I thought were chunkies in there were just bigger bubbles there's still a what appears to be a ton of carbonation streaming up but uh, down to just a just a wisp of a of a head it's left a little lacing down the glass but you know nothing nothing spectacular uh, certainly not what I what I expected from the thickness and foaminess of the uh, of the beer um, yeah this is an easy easy drinking beer uh, the alcohol I didn't mention the alcohol because uh, it's well hidden uh, it's not noticeable at all the seven percent you don't even, you don't even know it um, so it could a seven percent it could be a somewhat uh, deceptively uh, dangerous beer um, uh, it, but it's it's enjoyable it's one I could uh, I could probably drink more than one of it's a nice uh, nice even at five months old is uh, a nice uh, hop forward but not overly bitter IPA um, the hot flavors and aromas are excellent um, uh, they, they're definitely uh, predominant over the over the malts like I said just some light uh, light uh, light malts pale and biscuit malts and biscuity malts in there just to offset it a little bit with a little bit of sweetness but it's not overly it's not overly bitter I think I may have um, may have even uh, been a bit too high on my uh, my IBU estimate I imagine it might be might be 50 or 60 rather than 60 or 70 but uh, nice easy drinking uh, IPA it's enjoyable um, but again there's there's not a lot to set it apart from it's, I mean, it's a really well done IPA, but it's not really anything. There's enough there to uh, to set it apart from, you know, any other uh, well-made uh, IPA. So I'm going to give the Evil Twin Brewing Falco IPA, I'm going to give it a good solid um, 8.5 out of 10. Uh, don't, don't worry about the, at least at five months. Um, I wouldn't worry about the age too much because it it holds up really well um, it may have been stored well um, on its way here although it's been on the shelves for a while and I finally picked up a six six pack or a, a single because it's um, it's fairly pricey in the four packs had this um, granddaddy long legs arachnid uh, walking over my camera uh, he's crawling around my shirt and my hat now but uh, yeah, he was crawling over my camera. I was hoping he wouldn't walk across the front of the screen, but uh, once once I started up, he's he's gone. So I'm gonna have to check my shirt before I put it on. Although they're harmless critters, so. But yeah, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the Evil Twin Brewing Falco good solid 8.5 out of 10. Uh, worth picking it up. Um, I wish I could find it fresher. Maybe I'll ch I'll check the store and see if they got anything fresher, but. Uh, nice easy drinking uh, like I said for 7% ABV deceptive uh, deceptive uh, beer so uh, till next time everybody cheers let's keep drinking good beers